Hello everyone, my name is Doug Bassett. I'm the Senior Technical Instructor here at Storm and Epic Live. And I recently received an email from a student that's kind of just starting out in this networking environment that we live and breathe in. And they ask, Doug, what exactly is a MAC address? And a MAC address is also known as a media access control address. This is an address that is burnt in to the physical card, the physical network adapter, to help identify that network adapter. And it's built on a whole bunch of different components. It has a manufacturer ID. It has a unique ID so we can tell that it's an Intel card or it's from you know Joe Bob's networking. And the reason that we have to have a MAC address is because we're dealing with the various layers of the communications model, also known as the OSI model or the TCP IP stack. Down at layer two, which is a data link layer, we have to be able to have a network adapter communicate with another network adapter. And the way that it does that is they swap MAC addresses. It's sort of like going to a, a cocktail party and you see that really cool person you want to learn a little bit more about and you ask them for their phone number and they ask you for their phone number and now you have the ability to set up communications using your cell phone of course uh, who has an 800 number right <laughs> but with the computers it's the same way the network adapters don't know about IP addresses they don't know about net buoy addresses they don't know IPv4 IPv6 TCP UDP they just know that I want to transmit information from my network adapter to your network adapter and the way that we do that is we use a protocol called ARP, Address Resolution Protocol. So I will have, for example, your IP address and I need to find out what your MAC address is. So I will ARP out and say, hey, IP address 131.107.5.4 what is your MAC address? And if that is in the same subnet as me, it's in the same logical network, same subnet, we don't have routers between us, this is going to be sent out as a broadcast. And it's important that there's not routers between us because routers don't like broadcasts. They're like the librarian. Shh! Can't be sending this throughout the entire infrastructure. We want to keep it to the local subnet. So ARP broadcasts out and says, hey, I'm looking for this IP address. What's your MAC address? And all the, the machines in that subnet will hear that ARP broadcast and it will hand it up to TCP and say, is this my IP address? And if it's not my IP address, it just discards the packet. But if it is my particular IP address, I will respond back with an ARP that says, hey, my IP address, here's my MAC address. And that's how we can go in and communicate. So what does a MAC address look like? Well, if I go out to my server here, what I can do is, is I can say, uh, let's open up a command prompt, and if I want to see what my MAC address is, I can do an IP config slash all. And by doing a slash all, I get all the information about my network adapter, including its manufacturer. Um, I can find out the name of my machine. I can find out my DNS suffix. This happens to be on a virtual machine, so I'm using the Microsoft Virtual Machine Bus Network Adapter. Ooh, how exciting. But here's my MAC address, 00155D027100. And if I try and communicate with another machine, for example, I say ping 172.16.2.1, it responds back. But in order to respond network adapter by network adapter, I have to get your MAC address. And that's where ARP comes in. I would go in and I would say, hey, uh, show me, everybody out there, this is the IP address I'm looking for, whose MAC address matches that IP address. And we can do an ARP minus A command, and ARP minus A shows me all of the network addresses that I know about and their corresponding MAC addresses. So, you know, maybe this is about 10 feet more than you needed, but uh, what exactly is a MAC address? It's the physical address associated with your network adapter that is used to facilitate communications. And if you do have additional questions on MAC addresses or whatever, you want a special customized video just for you about a particular topic, email me, doug.bassett at storman.com. And um, hey, you never know, I might put together a special presentation just for you. Hope to see you sometime in class and have a good one.